I'm here with Alat Mazar, Dr. Alat Mazar, a Jerusalem archaeologist. Today is a big day for Alat and her team, uh, which we're very happy and excited to be a part of. Earlier this morning, Alat released news of her latest, uh, let's say, important discovery. That was the discovery of the seal of Isaiah the prophet. Uh, Dr. Mazar, maybe you could tell us a little bit about this discovery, why today is such a, such a great day for you. Well, it is a great day, but you know, uh, for us archaeologists, we're having a great day almost every day on the field. And uh, me and uh, my grandfather, Professor Benjamin Mazar, the late Benjamin Mazar, uh, excavating the area of the Ophel and the Temple Mount, surrounding the Temple Mount walls for almost 50 years. So this is very special uh, efforts and we get most interesting finds all the time because it's a very focused important area of Jerusalem of ancient Jerusalem but now today it's a special day in regard of this special find of maybe Isaiah the prophet this uh, seal impression which is a little tiny clay uh, with Hebrew letters that says very clearly Leishayahu. this is there is no question about that. It belongs to Yeshayahu, to Isaiah. No. Now, no. is that a prophet? Yes or no? We have three out of four needed letters because the last letter, the Aleph of Navi, the prophet, is, was smashed by the person, maybe Isaiah, the prophet, right. who held the little tiny clay and pushed his seal against uh, this uh, soft clay. Right. So maybe his fingerprint was the one that damaged the last letter of Navi, right. which is a, an assess, a part of the of the word. We cannot uh, we cannot assume that this is a prophet without this last aleph. Right, right. So we are, have a problem. Right. We know we found it together with the seal impression of uh, King Hezekiah. Yeah, no question about that. Yeah. But uh, the same context, an eighth, uh, the early 7th century BC context in a royal quarter of ancient Jerusalem. Yeah. All fits. Yeah. We miss the Aleph. Right, right. So just to, just to review, we have a, a bulla, a seal impression. We know for sure that it says Isaiah. Absolutely. Uh, and with one missing letter, we would have the word prophet. Yes. Uh, you can read more about this on thetrumpet.com. The Key to David City. We've produced a 12-minute video uh, explaining in detail this latest discovery. Now, the news of the discovery only released this morning. Uh, have you had Have you had many phone calls, or have you had much attention? Are people interested? Well, the phone doesn't stop ringing, <laughs> which is okay. Uh, we are very excited about people getting interested in what we do. Uh, it's not always very clear. Sometimes we face problems of all sorts including that kind of um, problem, <laughs> the Aleph, yes right, or no. Right. Well, it, this is part of the science. Yeah. It's not come, it doesn't come easy. So what are people are excited about with this Bola? What do you think? Why do you think your phone's ringing off the hook? Look, the chances, good chances that we do speak about the seal impression of the prophet Isaiah. Right. Yeah. It's not like we can say we, it, it is not. Uh, the same way we cannot say that it is, even more, um, we can say that it is, then that it is not. Yeah. So it, difficulties are there and, yeah. pe and people are very much involved. They are eager to study right. how close uh, we can get into the biblical re reality. Yeah. Uh, and this is what archaeology is all about. Yeah. How can we make things as tangible as possible uh, in light of the biblical stories yeah. uh, and, and effects and yeah. narratives? Uh, this is a busy place, as you can hear right. in the background. Yeah. It never, it's never quiet here. Uh, so never mind that. Uh, in the center of Jerusalem, yeah. uh, the old, the ancient Jerusalem, you know, between the Temple Mount on the north and the city of David on the south, yeah. we are excavating the royal quarter that King Solomon built. Yeah. And it existed and continued to be used until the very end of the first temple period, until the Babylonian destruction. Yeah. So it's people are they love archaeology for good reason. Yeah. And we work very hard in order to reveal a very scientific, precise, uh, methodological uh, archaeology. Yeah. Great. 
So that's, you heard Dr. Mazar say it, we're right here on the Ophel, right at the, uh, the base of the Temple Mount, overlooking looking Jerusalem. That's the Mount of Olives in the background. Uh, just in conclusion, you're conducting an excavation right now. We have 11 or 12 students uh, working with you on the excavation. Maybe you could just give the audience just a, a really brief summary of, uh, of what you're excavating right now. Well, every excavation at the area of the Ophel is very important. The participation of the students is crucial. You know, hardworking, eager to, to reveal and devotion that is unparalleled of. And uh, we are very uh, privileged to have the students working with us. It's uh, uh, going on, revealing even the Byzantine period, even the first temple, the second temple period. Uh, we reveal all periods because it's part of the history of Jerusalem, yeah. which we are very interested in. Yeah. It's not the first temple. We are going, you know, layer by layer by layer, revealing whatever comes up. We put the same effort at every layer. And at the end, we pick up, you know, what are the best parts to be presented to the public, most preserved parts, depends. But each period, each period of the existence of Jerusalem's history is getting to be presented at this very large site. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Just a few words from Alat Mazar. I'm sure the next day or two could be quite busy for you as you do some more interviews. We appreciate the few minutes. We love being with you here at The Dig. And uh, we look forward to, to uh, joining you with for lots of lots more discoveries thank you so much we love you all